I welcome everyone to my channel. Today's video will have a very interesting story, so I strongly recommend that you watch it to the end. At the very beginning, we run like a guy and a girl run on the street. But the girl, after running for only a couple of minutes, decided to give up. Because she couldn't run anymore, the guy didn't like it, so he told her to get up quickly and not rest because they haven't gotten around to running yet. The guy was strict with the girl. The girl decided to cheat and said, well, if Appa carried me, then I could continue. But he decided not to fall for her trick and pretend that he was going to leave. But after a couple of seconds, he stopped and allowed her to this time to climb on it and so walk. The girl climbed on him and then he decided to ask her why she continued to behave like a child, mine, that was her name, got angry at this and said that she did not behave like a child. No matter how he pissed her off, Mina was glad only for Appa, she only needed him. Two years have passed since then. How he started to live in this house. He has lived here since the beginning of his student life with his daughter. Her name is Sung Mina, she is 20 years old, and also his mother, her name is Sung Yuan, she is 34 years old. Yu Young is rumored to have given birth to Mina when she was still in high school, but that doesn't affect their kindness. Mina and Ajuma were always very kind to the main character, he is very grateful to them for their hospitality. They became so close that they began to look like a real family. They were sitting at the dinner table and suddenly Mina asked him if he was free today. He asked why she needed to know, and then she said to him, You didn't give me a gift for university so I want a gift directly now. When he agreed to give her something, she was very happy and wanted to hug him. But at that moment her phone rang, so she had to distract herself to answer the call. As Mina walked away, Miss Yuan told him, you don't have to buy Mina a gift. Mina grew up without a father, so I think she sees you as a father or an older brother. The protagonist was in complete agreement with her opinion. Mina was like a little sister to him. He ate, and after he got up from the dinner table, he went to a meeting. There was a person who lives next to them. He went out and went to meet him. As it turned out, it was the brother of the protagonist, whose name was Sai Wu. He came to him and decided to ask why he came to Seoul, and then he heard this. People like me languish in the countryside, so the choice fell on Seoul. After these words, it seemed to him that he unexpectedly earned money and bought the car in which he arrived. But as it turned out, he simply rented it. Sai Wu didn't know how to save money at all. He didn't want to save money because he was of the opinion that life was too short and that every second of it should be enjoyed. He just wanted to enjoy his life, especially with his handsome face. They talked a little more, and then Sai Wu told his brother that he brought his laptop, which he lent him. He wanted his brother to come to him, but now he refused it. Sai Wu got into the car where a beautiful girl was waiting for him. This girl decided to ask him if they were brothers, because they were very similar to each other. Sai Wu told her that they were really twin brothers, but they had completely different personalities. Sai Wu wanted to play with this girl, but at one point she stopped him and asked why he didn't play with his girlfriend, and not with her. Then he told her that he liked her more than his girlfriend. This girl did not like to play in such places, so they went to a more comfortable place. Finding such a place, they began to play, and this girl, who was called Jury, really liked it. After a while their games ended, at the same moment his brother was in the mall with mine. She chose a gift for herself and bought it. She only bought one lipstick, so he decided to ask her if she had enough. After that, Mina said, I only needed lipstick, and even more so, I just wanted to go on a date with Appa. He replied to her, What? date? You should only go on a date with your boyfriend. Maybe you like someone at university? But mine did not need any of the other guys. Her mood suddenly changed despite being very happy. Mina decided not to answer this question and went to the restroom. But as soon as she went to her brother, some girl came up. She grabbed him and hugged him. She met him by chance, but was glad about this because he did not answer her calls and they never met. Mina noticed this, so she quickly ran up to him and blocked the way for that girl. That girl thought that he was pretending that he didn't know her, so she decided to hit him, and on such a bad note they parted. 
The next day, he lay quietly in his room and watched his TV, but a little later a mind entered his room and lay down next to him. She began to make fun of him that she could help him with his wound, but after these jokes, she decided to ask him if this girl is a secret lover. But then he answered her, If I have a girl, why should I hide her? Moreover, now I don't want to meet anyone. After that, the mind began to stick to him he didn't like it at all, because the room was too hot, so he decided to push her away from him. But he stopped, and she became a little sick. Suddenly after that his phone rang. As soon as he got to the phone, his mood changed. Some girl called him, with whom he did not want to talk at all. So he began to aggressively send her away. Kang Jin Wu, that was the name of our main character, was very angry because of her call. And when Mina decided to ask him who the call was from, he told her that this person was not even worth mentioning. A little later, Sai Wu was with the mall girl who hit his brother. That day, she found out that Sai Wu has a twin brother, and a little later she even saw his photo. Then she realized that she hit the wrong person. She told Sai Wu that she met him with some girl in the mall and hit him. Sai Wu was wondering if his brother had a girlfriend, so he decided to ask her about this girl, but she began to be jealous, and then he told her that he had come to this city only for her sake and decided to prove his love to her. He was cruel to her and didn't even give her a chance to win. He dominated and told her how to play the best way. But at one point he decided defiantly to start playing in front of the window, under which a lot of people were walking. So Yule didn't like this idea and she spoke him to stop, but he still continued to play like that. And when he finished, he thought everything went well, but so Yule got angry and started hitting him with a pillow. He lay down on the bed and started thinking about his business. Meanwhile, his brother Jin Wu went to meet a girl. That girl was the woman he had gotten very angry about talking to. Jin Wu sat down next to her and after drinking his drink said, did you want to meet me? Don't think that you are being too brazen. Li Jian, for what reason did you decide to meet again? She replied to him, just like that. I wanted to see your face. Jin Wu continued to tell her, why did you suddenly want to see me when you have a boyfriend? But after that, Jian said that she broke up with her boyfriend. Besides, he left the company. So now they don't even cross paths anywhere. Kang Jin Wu thought to himself and after these thoughts said, now that you broke up, you suddenly want to meet me? Then it would be better for me to leave. Leave? We haven't seen each other for two years. Do you really want to? Let's at least talk a little. Jin Wu decided to stay and listen to what she wanted to tell him. And then she began to talk about their student days when they lived together and played with each other several times a day. They sweated every time they played, as if they had been caught in the rain. But that didn't stop them. Jin Wu interrupted her story and said, however, as soon as we graduated from university, you left for another. You said the new guy is better than me, so we should break up right. She tried to justify herself to him, but that pissed off Jin Wu even more, so he finished his last drink and told her she should stop it because that today would be their last meeting. He no longer wanted to see her face, but after a couple of hours he woke up in the house of Jian. He ended up there because he did not know how to drink at all and passed out in a restaurant. He realized what happened and then decided to get up and leave, but she grabbed his hand and didn't let him leave. And after that, she also said, wait, no, do you want to play with me today? We did not meet each other in a long time. I don't want it to end like this. When I proposed to meet, I knew that you hated me, but you came anyway. So maybe you still feel something for me at least somewhere in the depths of his soul. He contradicted her words, but perhaps the words of Jian somewhere were true, although he hated her with all his heart, but he really wants to see her. Nevertheless, he does not was able to give it up because he was drunk. He hated to think about difficult things, so he decided to remember the past when they were still a couple. A mind was waiting for him in his house and was very worried about him because the time was already late and Jin Wu himself had already begun to play with Ji Yin at the moment. They started to play and both of them had a lot of fun, but Jin Wu tried hard to defeat Ji Yin. Many years have passed since their last meeting, but he still remembers her weaknesses. So he decided to use them for his victory. He was ruthless to her. As it turned out, she called him just to play with him, 
but in fact she still loved him, because no one but him could not play with her, as well and interact with her. They played together with each other all night, and the next morning Jin Wu woke up from a call. This call was from a profession. Jian herself had already packed up and went about her business, and left him to sleep on. He quickly answered the call of the professor and apologized for not answering her. He told her that he would quickly finish the work and send everything to her. But at that moment a mind entered his office, but she was worried that he did not spend the night at home. So she decided to ask him about it, but she directly asked him if he was with a girl yesterday. This question put Jin Wu in a very awkward position, but Jin Wu decided to get out and answered her. No, I just met an old acquaintance and we talked until late at night. But Mina listened to all this with disbelief and asked after his words, was it really a friend? Yesterday you were very serious during the call. Jin Wu answered her, it's none of your business. I don't have to answer to you. You're not even my girlfriend. But these words hurt mine very much. So after them she yelled at him and said that he could just call them so that their mom didn't worry about him. Then he realized that he would need to apologize to his aunt next time. The next day, Aunt Yunyang slept peacefully, but she woke up because of her nightmares that she had been having for the past few days. She decided to go to the gym to stop thinking about them. But when she went outside and was about to go there, she heard some sounds from the top floor. Then she thought that Junwoo had already started training in the morning. So she decided to go to him but he was there in only a t-shirt, because he did not expect anyone to come to him. She apologized to him, and then Jin Wu told her, I heard that you were worried this Sunday. I'm sorry, I should have called and warned you. You need to warn us. The main thing is to take care of yourself. Don't worry so much. Okay. After that, she decided to go about her business, but she decided to go back home because she didn't feel well. Meanwhile, Jin Wu's brother was in the car with his laptop, but when he tried to call him, he couldn't do it because his phone was switched off. Si Wu had only to give his laptop. Yu Yum was at home, and suddenly Mina woke up. It turns out she was late for her lessons, so she decided to quickly run there without even having breakfast, and after that, Aunt Yu Yum lay down on the bed and started playing with herself. She could not believe that she is playing a game while thinking about Jin Wu. She was playing with herself, but suddenly she noticed that a Jin Wu had come, but in fact it was not him. A few minutes earlier, Jin Wu's brother drove to his house and noticed that the door to his house was open, so he decided to just go in, but after passing through the gate, he heard a woman scream, so he quickly ran home without thinking anything. He entered the house and this awkward situation happened. He did not understand at all why she was playing with herself, also with the open door. He was about to leave, but Aunt Yu Yeung stopped him and told him that they needed to talk. So after a few minutes, she collected her thoughts and they sat down at the table. But Sai Wu did not even understand who this girl was. He thought that this was the mistress of the house and she was young. So he thought that she might be two years older than him. Aunt Yoon started to say, Jin Wu, I'm really sorry about this, I'm sorry. Let's just forget about it and keep it a secret from mine. Ok. Even when she tried to tell her about it, she did not hear him. When he heard the name of Ming from her, he began to think about who this girl was. Sai Wu thought it was quite a funny situation, so he thought he might play around with his brother. He decided to keep everything a secret from mine. And then Auntie Yu Young thanked him for that and continued to say, You see, I took care of mine alone for 20 years, and I didn't have any men at all, and I feel extremely lonely so sometimes I just need to play to forget about it. But at this point, Sai Wu decided to pretend to be his brother and told her, what's the difference? There's nothing to be ashamed of. I also play a lot, sometimes three times a day. We are all human, so don't be ashamed of it. Aunt Yu Yum was very happy for his understanding. But after that, a strange atmosphere appeared around them. Aunt Yu Yum said that she thinks that he is lonely too. He decided to use this atmosphere and began to say to Sung Yuan these words. You are so beautiful. You could easily find a boyfriend for yourself. Mina is already an adult. You gave her your youth. I think you deserve a rest. She agreed with him, but I didn't know if it was all right. 
He was glad that she was more malleable than he thought, and then he thought of his brother and what he would do in such a situation. Sai Wu thought he could play with Yunyo, so he started doing it, but she said they couldn't do it. At that moment, Mai returned home, because she forgot her phone. At the entrance, she noticed that Jin Wu was at home, and did not understand what he was doing there at such an hour. Then Sai Wu decided to quickly run away from there. But before that he justified himself in front of her, saying that he just forgot something at home. She asked him to take her to school, but he said that he was in a very hurry. So after that he immediately ran away. Yu Young was left alone at home again, and she lay down on the bed and then started thinking about Jin Wu. Meanwhile, Jin Wu returned home, but Ji Yin continued to write to him. She said that she could not sleep, so she asked him to talk to her. But then he thought that he had made a mistake by doing this to her. But he still continued to think that he had not played with someone for a long time. And even after all this, having experienced these feelings again, he wants to repeat it again. Suddenly, someone knocked on his door, and when the door opened, he noticed Sung Yoon. She immediately ran into him and began to hug. He did not understand what was happening. But then she said this. What we did in the morning. Do you want to continue this? This is where our video ends. Thank you all for watching and good luck.